Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are taking a look at iOS 12.1. With the release of iOS 12.1 Beta 1, we are all looking forward to Beta 2 and what new possible features and changes we could be seeing in the next Beta version. So let's go over all the possible new features and what changes need to be made from Beta 1. This video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. If you need to speed up your Mac or PC, then Clean My Mac is for you. This program also combats malware and viruses and has a ton of other features that I use on a daily basis. So if you want to speed up your computer and protect it at the same time, check out Clean My Mac via the link in the video description below. Okay, so first things first, everyone is talking about new wallpapers and honestly, we need some new wallpapers specific to iOS 12. I mean, we only got one for iOS 12 and it's sort of grown on us throughout the beta process and we just need more. Apple has released new wallpapers, but unfortunately those are only for newly released devices, which leaves a lot of other users in the dark. So hopefully we see some new static wallpapers and a bonus would be some new live wallpapers for supported devices. Next up, I'd like to see more in the battery health menu. The battery menu itself has a ton of useful data and features, and I'd just like that to be implemented into the battery health menu. A lot of users out there don't know what battery health is or how to manage it properly, so education on that as well as some more visual data would be a great change to the battery health menu. Now, past those features, I don't really expect much from iOS 12.1, but would love to see two changes to iOS that really needs to be made. The first can be found in the control center and under the communications toggle. I would still like to see a VPN toggle here so that we can quickly access our VPN settings. As a pretty consistent user of VPN services, I really do need to access the on and off feature quite regularly, so having that option in the control center would be a really nice thing to have. The second change I would like to see is further improved battery life. Throughout the iOS 12 betas, my experience was great, but when the official release came onto my device, that experience took a 180. We are not experiencing the battery life we were experiencing in the betas. With that being said though, beta one of iOS 12.1 has brought better battery life, but it's not on par with what I was getting in the iOS 12 betas. I'd love to see more consistent battery life and better battery life in the future so that we can all enjoy iOS 12 on our devices longer without worrying about running back to the charger. Now, lastly, I think that group FaceTime needs to be worked on just a tad bit more. There's a few bugs here and there that needs to be worked on for it to become like an official release ready new feature. I can see why it was delayed initially and I'm glad that Apple did that because it is still buggy in iOS 12.1 beta one, but hopefully we see some new changes in beta two that will make it more ready for an official release. So guys, those are my hopes for iOS 12 beta two. Seeing as Apple really wants to get this version of iOS off the ground quickly, we might not be seeing any more than like two or three beta versions. So very likely we'll be seeing the next beta version next Monday or Tuesday. So stay tuned for more news on that. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Make sure to get subscribed for some more upcoming content and we'll catch you all in the next video.